okay so in this video I am going to discuss a very important concept that of common factors and common multiples so let's begin our discussion by discussing first about the common factors now in order to understand common factors let us first observe the factors of numbers when we take them in pairs that is we are taking the numbers in pairs so as an example what we'll do is we'll try to find out the factors of the number 4 and the number 18 so let us write down the factors of the number 4 the factors of the number 4 will be 1 2 and 4 any other factor that we you can think for the number 8 that is it so these are the factors of the number 4 now let's find the factors of the number 18 so the factors of number 18 is 1 eight, 1 itself is the factor then 2 9s are 18 so 2 then we have 3 3 6 are 18 and of course then we have 6 we also have 9 and uh, then 18 itself is a factor over here okay now what we have to do is just to observe the factors of both of these numbers that is 4 and 18 and see that if there are any factors common to both of these numbers so let us try to circle the factors that are common and I'll take a green color over here so okay I see 1 is present as a factor of 4 it is also present in the 18 and then we have 2 and then we also have 2 over here do we have any other common number this is 3 6 9 and 18 4 so what are the factors that are common to both 4 and 18 they are the numbers 1 and 2 so these two numbers 1 and 2 they are set to or they are called as the common factors for both 4 and 18 so this is what about common factors it is simply that the factors which are common for two numbers a very basic and important concept now this is one class of numbers where we have two factors and it is also possible for us to have factors more than two in this this is just a simple example so we just have two common factors that could be more than two now I want you to take a special case in which we say two numbers like let's say we have taken number 4 and number 13 and we write down the factors of both of these numbers so the factors of the number 4 are as we wrote earlier 1 2 and 4 and that of 13 now if you remember 13 is a prime number so the only factors that 13 will have will be 1 and the number itself that is 13 so now what are the factors which are common to both 4 and 13 so if you just have a look at here I'll just circle them again so we have one here and we have one here so do we have any other factor which is common no so the factors that are common to both 4 and 13 is simply the number 1 now this is a very interesting case we found that for a set of numbers that is two numbers the only factor that is common is one they have just one numbers now in mathematics there is a special term for these type of numbers who have only one as a factor and these numbers are called as the co prime numbers so uh, just to give you a formal definition two numbers two numbers having only one as the common factor are called co prime numbers that is the definition of a co prime number so just let me summarize what we have discussed here so what we have tried to do is we have taken numbers in pairs and we have tried to find out factors common to both of these numbers now we found out that there could be two possibilities one is that the number of factors could be more than one right as in the example of 4 and 18 and the other case we found out is that when we are considering two numbers the only factor that is common to both of them could be one they are called as the co prime numbers 
okay now let us uh, continue our discussion further on the common factors but we will take one more modification to this we will take three numbers together instead of, so last time we took three now we want to take three numbers together and we will see what are the factors common to those numbers so let us say that we want to find out the factors of number 4 number 12 and number 13 so the factors for the number 4 are 1 2 and 4 and the factors for number 12 they would be 1 2 then 2 6 are 12 and similarly we have 1 2 3 3 is a factor for 12 4 is a factor for 12 6 is a factor for 12 and 12 itself is a factor of 12 so the numbers of so the factors for 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 now what are the factors of 16 so 1 is a factor of 16 by default 2 8s are 16 yes 3 is not 4 4s are 16 yes 4 is a factor 5 is not a factor 6 is not a factor 7 no 8 yes 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 is 9 a factor no 10 no 11 no 12 no 30 no then in that case what we are left with is 16 16 itself is a factor right so we have 2 8s are 16 8 2s are 16 4 4s are 16 and that's it now let us try to identify the common factors in these three numbers as we did earlier so we are taking three numbers together so obviously what we can see here is that the number one is a common factor so let me write down the number one here so it is interesting to know that the number one will always be a common factor for any numbers that you take that is always going to be the case because one is a factor of every number now what is the other factor that is common to all these three so we can clearly observe that 2 comes in all the factors of all these numbers so 2 is a factor common factor now is there any other number that we can see yes we do see this number 4 the number 4 here and the number 4 here so 4 so again we see that this the numbers 1 2 and 4 are the common factors for the number set for the numbers 4 12 and 16 now it is a very obvious question that would come to my mind why are we studying about common factors what is the real importance of the common factors here now if you just think over it intuitively what is a factor factor just gives us a divisor the it is just a number by which we can divide a number another number exactly so that the remainder is zero now when we take sets of numbers and we are trying to find common factors what is it that we are trying to do what we are trying to do is to try to find out exact divisors which will be applicable for the set of numbers under consideration so in this case when we have 4 12 and 16 so let's say I want to divide I have I have four apples uh, 12 uh, 12 chocolates and uh, 16 milk bars and I just want to divide them with the same unit with the same number and such that it, they should be exactly divisible what am I going to look at I will be looking at the common factors so then when I find the common factors I know that I can divide them either into packs of 1 2 or 4 okay if I divide them into packs of 1 I will get the maximum number of packets and if I divide them into packets of 4, I will get the minimum number of packets for all these 3. And all of them will be equally divided. So that is the very important concept of why do we need the common factors. So I have put it here in a sentence that finding common factors provides us with the numbers that are exact divisors of both the numbers or even more numbers than that. So that was our discussion on common factors. In the next session, I will discuss about the common multiples.